It's Maggie Bot, and uh, today this will be a life vlog, just a little bit of catch up and some talking about Gen Con and um, just a, kind of an update. I will also be doing a game vlog. It will be posted as well today. So if you don't want to hear that much about my life or my Gen Con plans, then by all means, I will have a new to me, want to play games video going up very soon. Um, I got a new camera, so this is the little GoPro that will be hanging out with me all of Gen Con. Um, I don't know how to use it yet, so I have to, I'm just like, I'm in my house, so I don't really need to be using a GoPro, but I wanted to get used to uh, editing from it and kind of the different version of how it looks and stuff like that. Um, it also comes with a companion app, which is super handy, um, so you can kind of frame your shots and stuff. Um, I'm really, really nervous on the, um, I'll get more into this, but on the Sunday of Gen Con, I have an interview scheduled, like a real scheduled interview with a person that doesn't know me at all. Um, so I'm really nervous about that because, uh, y'all have seen, I, I usually chat with friends or people I've known for a really long time, or I get to know people over Twitter or those types of things. And that gives you a connection. It gives you kind of a flow with people. And so to interview Seiji Kanai in a convention, and I've never met him. I don't know if he speaks English. I don't know if there'll be a translator. I don't know if it's going to be a big hot mess because I, I'm very nervous, but um, I have my questions kind of already. Um, I'm considering rewording them as well, like having two options with translator and without, um, because I, I do know that they're the language barrier might be uh, another problem, like a potential problem. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this month I've been largely absent. I, I apologize, but um, uh, my life kind of fell apart a little bit. Brian and I uh, broke off the romantic part of our relationship. We're still friends and we'll still be super close and game together and stuff like that. So none of that will change, but it was like this weird transition into like, we had to, you know, separate rooms and separate laundry and that kind of stuff and um, just getting ourselves set up for success and making sure that we are okay and that he and I are taking care of ourselves and that kind of stuff. It was a month, to say the least, um, but all for the better that we know that we're still going to be working together and we can still maintain the good parts of what we were. Um, so that's been an interesting transition, but um, really quite difficult, and I'm uh, glad to be kind of feeling more myself. Um, it just made filming really difficult. I, I couldn't get myself on camera and not sound like a bumbling mess. It was really weird. And so during this month, the only things I've done are the Hangouts on the Sunday. We did one game of Games on the Rocks for Meeples included, and then I've been doing um, guest podcasts. It was a weird month. They all just kind of fell into this month, but I did the what did you play this week thing conversation thing or whatever you call it. And that's like a human highlight. So it was a little bit more about me and Meeples Included and charity work. And I did uh, a really cool kick butt uh, arc rate review on the Dukes of Dice podcast. And that was so fun. It was a really, really good time. Um, if you don't listen to the Dukes of Dice, there are um, two guys that they're one of the very few podcasts I, I, I spend some time listening to, and um, Sean, one of them, is a, a big Feld fan, and so that helps me have something kind of to hold on to there. A lot of podcasters tend toward the lighter end of the spectrum, and so finding people that are into that medium, almost heavyweight Euros is really, really exciting to me. Um, Dukes of Dice are fantastic, and my episode is up now. It's episode 102. Um, it also goes into kind of what we've been playing lately and a little bit more about how to get, like, how to best set up success of people playing high bear games. Um, it was really fun to do. Uh, so, um, I am going to make up for this kind of slow, awful July, and it was god awful. I mean, it was, even my birthday is inside of July, so everything was awful. Everything was the worst this month. Um, but in August, and this won't be an everyday thing, but I'm going to do my very, very best, I'm going to be trying to put out either a video or a vlog every day if I can, um, which is going to be 
a huge challenge because I'm going to Gen Con right at the beginning of this, so we will see how well I can stick with it, but I'm going to do my damnedest to try and get a video done every day. Um, I will also be taking a crap ton of footage, and so post Gen Con, most of those videos are just going to be me having grabbed and edited a chunk of the video, um, trying to make some of my Gen Con experience something that is palatable for others to watch and enjoy. Uh, I hope to run into and meet a million amazing people, and I would love to introduce those here. Um, so I really enjoyed doing, I did Vlogist and No Vlomo in, to a certain extent, didn't succeed in doing every day of the month either time, life happens, and I just, I am now saying that I will do a crap ton of videos, it might not be every day that month, but I will do my best to try. Uh, so Gen Con plans, if you will be out at Indy, I, um, I'm flying into Chicago actually on Tuesday to hang out with my friends um, Adrian and Dan, and then all four of us are driving from Chicago to Indianapolis on Wednesday. I will be in town Wednesday. I don't have a whole lot planned, I just have like tentative plans all days, all times, all days. Uh, Thursday morning I'm going and doing like the one work thing that I'll be doing while I'm there is meeting with Haba and trying their new games. Um, then Thursday night just everything fell onto that night so I will definitely be at the Nerd Nighters charity event and I will be at the Women in Gaming, gaming meetup from Greater Than Games. I will be at both of those even though they kind of occur at the same time. Uh, Friday I will be at the AEG party thing that they do, they do like a big box party thing. Um, I will also be at the Drunken Game Design event with uh, Mike Elliott, Mike Selinker, and like just goofy stuff. Uh, Saturday, I'm trying to remember if I have anything. I have it all written down and I have a few appointments and stuff, but um, the one big thing I will say is that if I'm not anywhere else, where I will be is the BGG Hot Games Room. So um, BGG Con, uh, Gen Con contacted BGG Con like two days ago, literally two days ago. Um, because someone had canceled a whole ballroom. And so Gen Con offered that space to be G Con to run some sort of like gaming at the con. And it's honestly, it's like the best of both worlds because that was my complaint about Gen Con before was that there wasn't enough space to sit down and play stuff. Um, my only worry right now is that it's pretty limited in how many people can be there at one time. So I'm worried that it'll just be full all the time, but I guess that's a good problem for them to have. But my plan right now is to be there if I'm no if I'm not somewhere else. So if you are looking to run into me and you can't, I'm gonna try and tweet where I am if I if I want people around. I'll try and tweet how to find me. Um, but that's that's gonna be my default home at this point. That's at least that's what I'm assuming. Uh, so that one has a cost to it. It's generic tickets. It's like two dollars for two hours or something. But um, having a little bit of space to play games is important to me, so I'm more than willing to kind of add that onto my badge fee. Um, at this time, I would also like to invite y'all to just, um, for meals and stuff like that, I always get a little awkward, like, I, I want to have dinner and I want to do lunch and stuff like that, so if you're around and you would like to grab a bite or something, please like tweet at me or something, and if I'm if I'm available, I'll, I'll totally be down to go get some food. Um, always, always hungry. Uh, my my, I don't have any restaurants or anything that I'm super looking forward to trying. But um, there was a, w there will be one evening at the wine bar probably. There's a wine bar across the street from the convention center, and it's just fabulous and a really cool time. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that again. Okay, so. That was a long rambling vlog, but it's nice to see y'all. I'm going to now um, record the games I have purchased and probably won't be able to play by Gen Con, but want to. Uh, so that one will be fun. I will link it below. Thank you. Bye.